I'm sizzling like bacon in the frying pan. From fair Verona, where we lay our scene, two households, both alike in dignity, a pair of star-crossed lovers take their life. Oh, brawling love, oh, loving hate, oh, anything of nothing, first fitness create. Workout 40, the tragic love story between two fitness families, Montaglutes and the Capri Legs, or that love story of Romeo and Gluteet, whatever way you want to say it. I'm a master of wordplay, I could do this all day. We're just changing the set structure of this workout on the special workout and having a good time. So, are you ready? Today, warm up is just straight into the workout, so if you feel like you gotta get loose, Separately, do your own little five minute roll around to feel good. And then we get into two warm up portions and the first section of our main workout is a three minute conditioning piece. So that all will act as warm up. Let's check out the board and see what is up for today's Shakespearean theme. Looking at the board today, I'm just gonna explain the structure and then we'll get to the exercises when we get to them so I'm not repeating myself right now to save time. Three parts, part one, all is fair in love and fitness, of course. Master clock is 45 on, 15 off. Five glute smashing, glute pumping, glute warming up exercises. Part two, Macorcio. You might've heard of him, he's Romeo's best friend and he dabbles between both families, no problem. A little Mercorcio segment to warm up the core. Same thing, 45 on, 15 off, five or six core exercises. Third part, the big family warfare, Monteglutes versus Capri Legs. Originally, I had to choose sides, but I just meddled the workout and made it one list for us to smash through, and we're gonna try to go in order. If you're advanced, we go fully in order, one at a time. If you want to intermediate, mix it up, you can chunk out segments and come back to them, chunk it out, come back to them. No problem, it's just a long running workout, so clocks for you, clocks for me. Go at your own pace, we're all in this together today. The third section, Family Warfare is divided up by three three minute conditioning segments. The whole theme with single limb, so you attack the conditioning with single limb. If you have a machine, you gotta figure out how to do it with one arm or one leg. I'm gonna lay my rower down and do definitely at least one of those stations with just a single leg row and I'll switch halfway, no problem. There's two exercises between those three conditionings each and everything is 100 reps, so it's gonna be 50 left, 50 right if you're dividing it up if that's an exercise. Low equipment requirement as always, the bonus is that high bar for jumping pull up. If not, you're stuck in the back fly pattern or the banded pull down. You'll need just two dumbbells, a towel or rag for side knee tucks, and a mat, and that's it, and your own able body, no problem. Skipping rope is bonus, and the cardio machine is bonus. Before we get into the first all is fair and love and fitness section. Maybe we're cranking the Romeo and Juliet soundtrack today. Who knows? My music links are always below. I might've found a pretty heavy remix of some of those songs, but that was a pretty sweet CD back in the day. Okay, let's go get your water and sweat towel nearby. We're gonna get into these glute movements. Clock is the master clock, 45 on 15 off. And I'll see you on the mat in a sec. Okay, we're into part one, 45 on 15 off, five movements. Remember, modifications are changing exercises. Regressions are just making that exercise easier. Regression today is just take all the jumping impact out of the moves. We have some hopping coming up. First move is on our butt, single leg glute bridge. Clock is starting, the workout. Tragic war story between two fitness families. Starts in six seconds, we're on our back. Okay, two leg glute bridge if you wanna make it real easy, but it's single leg, just driving and we'll switch leg at the 22. And quite tight. Okay, next leg, side note, if my nose starts gushing blood, I was working on my car this morning and smashed my face with a metal pipe, stupid and had a big nosebleed, so we'll see if I hold up today, patchwork okay, my nasal breathing might not be tip top today. Might sound a little mouth breather like. Okay, shake that out. Next move coming up is the side butterfly. So side plank, we're just gonna rise and lift the top leg. 
We've got a few different names. Here we go. Up and down. Up and down. You can pretend your heels are kind of handcuffed or ankle cuffed together, or you can just bring the whole leg high. We are pumping the glutes. Monster glute, copy leg. Ooh. Oh yeah. Last rep, boom, spin a roo. Keep going, wait for the beep. We'll start us on the clock all together for the first two portions, and then we're off to the races by ourselves. Okay, good, I could have memorized this list. The prone side leg lifts, all oh, these are butt burners. If you're a champion, you can do these with ankle weights. I cannot. So, hands and knees, leg to the side, stiff body, and we're lifting the leg and the toe touches. So you have a glass of water on your back, so we're not cranking to dump the water. These are all just glute, oh, posterior chain specific warm up movements. Switch leg, the other side, don't get a butt cramp. Oh. Keep going. Good. Prone, good. We're standing up, single leg hops. Okay, make an imaginary crosshair grid, A, B, C, D, and we're just trying to jump the feet into those little squares. So hop, A, B, C, D, around and round. Boom, 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 boom. If you don't wanna jump, just do a two foot Shuffle and get your body moving. Dun, 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 dun. Doesn't have to be big, small, 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 nice and accurate. Switch foot. Whoa, where am I going? A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. I need a tape reference on the ground. That was it. And single leg jumps. So we're just gonna try to balance, use the arms. We only need a millimeter lift. We're just warming up, getting the system going. So it just looks like this. Soft land, soft land, soft land. We have skipping, if that's an option, with a real skipping rope or not. And you're gonna go single foot hops back and forth anyway. This is more absorbing. Okay, we'll switch leg. And again, you can always hold on, no jump, and just test what kind of power you have in the leg without leaving the ground. Wake up the balance. Whoa. Whoa, where am I going? That's the end of the first section. Oh, just a little water sip. I'll stop the clip, we'll start the second. Mercortio, core second coming up. That will feel a lot worse. Okay, part two is here. I'm just gonna hit start. We're on our backs, our feet up in the air, toe touch pulse. Starting in 10 seconds. I move the mat closer so I can just see the board and lay here dead on the rest. So feet are up, feet are up, and we just, any effort you can to try to touch the toes. You can put your feet up against the wall. Yeah. You can swing the arm if you need to. Mercorcio. I didn't memorize any of his quotes, so forgive me for the lack of Shakespearean knowledge for this segment. You won't care because your core is going to be on fire 
Now we're gonna be squirming in a little fetal position ball in a sec. Five seconds. Woo! The sprinter sit up. Okay, so that's laying down. We're gonna go one down, two down. Okay, here we go. Opposite to opposite. You don't have to touch. You're just in this almost runner position. Down, runner, down, runner, down. Oh, burning, burning. Power up, hold for a split second. Pause on the ground for a split second. One more. Good. Side plank. So side plank, knee to elbow. 22 seconds of each coming up. Macorchio, Macorchio. Ah. Side plank, touch, hover, touch, hover. You can drop bottom leg, make that easier. Hand can be on ground. Spin or switch side. Keep a steady pace, wait for the bell. Good, that's it. Next, I believe, is yeah, side rocks. So on our backs. Now we can be in the C, we can go full extension, we're 45 degree turned, not straight up. Here we go. Arms can be up, can be on the chest, can be overhead. Body moves as one piece. Wow, this mat is slippery. Elbow on the ground can help, keep a little momentum going. Knees bent to make it harder or sort of easier. Switch side. Get my mic out of the way. Keep it going. Enjoy the flush that just happened on that side. One piece. I always say bottom of a rocking chair or a frozen banana on the counter. There's no segmented hip breaking. All right. Last one is a star opposite toe tap crunch. So you don't have to, but we start floating in a star and then we're coming up, touching opposite limb. So that star is the hollow. You can also just be bent. Okay, and we're going up and star, up, star. Oh, it's not gonna last long. Oh, baby. You can rest. Keep your feet down. Halfway, last 22 seconds. Oh, I'm gonna blame my tall person long levers. Woo! We're cooking. I'm sizzling like bacon in the frying pan. Oh! Oh! And only the big family warfare section left. So I'll see you there in a sec. Okay, part three. Just a quick review. You have the master list on the side the whole time to reference. We have a one hour master clock just for time referencing. We probably won't need that hour. The list is broken up into th three thirds. First third, second third, third third. You can see the three minute conditioning segments with two exercises. So I'm gonna stay in the first third. I can break up those exercises back and forth until I'm done before I move on to the second third. 
Conditioning is the machine you have at home, a skipping rope, a fake skipping rope, sprawls or running high knee. All of those are single, except for the high knees, are single limb. So trying single skip, you can switch back and forth, but we'll try just single limb elements today. Um, side lunge, easy, you have video references as well. Side lunge is down to one side up, down to the other side up, 50 per side. Jumping pull up if you have the setup, head height to bar, hang full touch and down, no problem. It's banded pull down or light back fly as the modification. Another three minute conditioning, the hurdle push up is any object you want to get over. And we're gonna do a walk over, and then we can do a conditioning push up or a strict, I'll try strict push up. That's gonna be 50 per side, so you're gonna be blowing up on that. The TRX towel slide crunch, I'll use a TRX, I didn't hang that up yet. I have the video on screen, so I don't have to show it now. It's just the slider side tucks we've done before, 50 per side. And then another conditioning, and then weighted jump squat can be your body weight, I'll do barbell. Jump, squats, you can do a goblet squat in front, two light dumbbells, doesn't matter. Suitcase grip, you can jump like we've done before in past workouts. And then single arm, dumbbell row, I'll do a 40 pounder, 50 per arm. So it's all doable, shouldn't take an hour. Clock starts in a sec. Let's get ready for conditioning, I'm getting on the rower. And we're gonna do 90 seconds on each leg on the rower. So if you're skiing or on a recumbent, whatever it is, here we go. Just attempt a single limb. This adds a different little twist. Okay, here we go. Begin. So intensity doesn't really matter. We're just going for a different stimulus challenge today. Other leg you can see is floating by the side. If you ever have anyone with a knee injury, you can put them on a rower with a foot on a towel and their leg can just slide next to the machine if it's in a brace still. I utilize that for my rehab workouts when I had my knee worked on years ago. I'll stop talking. You've picked your conditioning element. Just do what you can do at home. Thirty seconds to go before I switch my leg. Eight seconds. I'll eject the foot. All right, right on the fly, go. Thirty seconds. No, sorry, minutes ago. And again, if I get that phantom nosebleed, I'll just stop the clip quick. Everyone else, carry on. Try to keep that single leg pattern going. And then this might be the only conditioning segment we're all timed up on. So after this, I bid you adieu. Off to the races by yourself. Go at your own pace. Decide if you want to go through all the exercises, maybe for 25 and then come back around to the top. I'm going to stay up in that first third. So these next two exercises, I'm just going to stick with. Okay. That was three minutes, workout is yours. So I have lateral side lunge, I'll do 25, 
Jumping pull up, I'll do 50 and chunk those out to two sets. <sighs> nice and easy. My water's over there, towel's over there. One, up, one, two, two. If you ever see anything over 50 to 100 reps, body weight alone will get you. So this is this the double step in between reps the other option is just to go back and forth but I like, I like to make it harder to fall in catch your body weight fall in catch your body weight 10 10 oh boy Thirteen. Try to stay facing forward. Get your hips and ankles to do the work here. How does describe this? Like there's a bench behind you the whole way. You want to sit your butt onto that bench on the one side. And you're just working reps down along it. Four more per side. Here we go. Whoa, that's it. Okay. And I've done jumping pull up before off of two plates. I put the third one there to make it slightly easier because this is a crap load. Coming up. Here we go. Okay, you can just see the top of the bar here. Full hang, use your legs. Chest touch bar. Sixteen. Twenty. Not good. Four. Five. I'm adding another plate. That was just one quarter of the reps I have to do. So remember the setup. Should be a fist to the bar. This is actually perfect for me. Advanced is a head to the bar. So this will save my arms. Let me use more legs. 25 more to go before I'm back to side lunges. And we're six and a half minutes in. Still, no matter how high you are up on something, full reset of the arms. And if you've never done these before, it might look silly on camera, but it is awful on the arms. Twelve. A lot of mouth breathing today. Oh no, gassing on the arms. If you're doing back fly and they're light and easy, just breeze ahead of me. Maybe I'll meet you somewhere in the future. Three more. Three, two, one. Yikes. Oh. Side lunges, see if I can catch my breath on these. Eight. Eight. 
Nine. Nine. Oh. Crank those tunes. Fifteen, fifteen, fifteen. Oh, you can assist body weight here by holding on. No problem. Oh, glad to be done those, but 50 more of these suckers. Gonna get a little water in a sec. Let's see if I can get my first burst here. Fifteen, water, towel, water, towel. Oh. Mm. Take water breaks whenever you need to. I'll do a maybe a two-minute water break in the middle to break up the clip. One minute water break, whatever. No. So I'm now grinding, trying to get 10 in a row. If you just sat there and did two pound dumbbells for backsliding, you got 100 straight. Way too easy. I forgot what I'm at. I think that's 35. 35. Rings, if you bought your set of rings already, ultimate because they are the high bar and they're also awesome for ring push-ups, ring dips, and low row off the ground. So that could be a regression is leaning back TRX or ring row, mental editors though to put that onto the videos as options. Oh. Five more. Has to get contact. Don't start missing by an inch, missing by two inches. No good. Recoup until you can hammer the nail. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Okay, I completed the first third. I'm actually gonna stop the stop the tape. Uh, a little water break, and then we'll get going again. If you're on your own time, keep going. Continuing, I'm going to be crazy and do three minutes of the single leg sprawl starting in three seconds. I don't have to go fast, I just have to survive. Here we go. One sprawl up, and then you can switch leg if you want, or just stay on that same leg 13 10 to 16 10. Uh, these are super awkward. Single leg burpees are just as bad. 
This is like a single leg RDL, every rep coming up. So I'm gonna pace myself. I don't wanna blow up the hammies. It's a lazy burpee, so no push up, no jump. You just get the leg out of the way, bring it back up. And then you'll go five at a time, just to save the legs. Back, up, one. Back, up, two. Again, this is my conditioning component. This isn't an exercise, this is just an option for conditioning. You have no, no skipping rope or machine. This one's not good for my nosebleed. And not good for the 100 push ups coming up. Ooh, minute down. Just keeps the heart rate high. Three. Four. Five. Burning, burning. Heart rate's pounding, don't have to move too quick. One, two, three. Sprawls, you can sprawl to a bench, make it way higher. Always check to those side videos to see what the alternative, easier regression is. I am cameling those, slow and steady. 30 seconds to go. Four, five. Oh, one more for good measure. 16, 10, boom, three minutes down. Now I have to work on my push-up, walk over. Dumbbell is gonna be what my hurdle is. I'll walk over this. I'll start strict, but I am allowing the conditioning. Roll push-up we learned in workout two, way back. You don't have to do strict elevated today. We can all roll off the ground. And then I have my TRX set up. Side video shows you the towel slider. My rower's in the way, so I'll just do this. So I'm gonna max out my push-ups and just match the side crunch. And these are 100 per side, because they happen quick. 100 push-ups, 100 per side. Here I go. I hooked it somewhere. One straight. Two straight. Three straight. Four straight. Over. Five. If you don't have anything, just imagine something is there to go over. Watch my face get out of the way. Easy, sort of. I just need this for my elbow. Suspension trainer comes down and you put bottom foot through the bottom straps and top foot goes through the triangle. Hold yourself in the side plank. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch side. This round's gonna take some time. Oh boy. Two, three, four, 
I'm dripping sweat, dripping sweat. Oh, oh, you saw Bruce covered in snow and I'm dripping sweat. Winter in Canada, almost. I won't give away when I'm filming this, but that means I'm cooking. I'm gonna try 10 more strict and they might all go conditioning. Give yourself lots of space for this. Taking my watch off. Yeah, they're going to be rolling knee push ups. When your pec press pattern's fatigued, it doesn't care what variation you're giving it, it just knows it's getting worked and it's tired. Going through, through. Mike's good. Try to stare slightly to the floor. Don't have belly, belly button going across the room. Turn down. Eight, nine, ten. And hold your strong bridge. No sagging. One of my favorite sayings, if I could throw a saddle on it, no good. Don't look like a sagging horse that I can saddle up on. Okay. Ah, oh, it's annoying. Towel slides will be a lot quicker, but I don't have the setup right now. Okay, conditioning will go a little quicker. That'll help me. Remember conditioning, tall, stiff arm position, break for the knee, roll in, roll out, back to tall. Break in, roll it up. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this is only 50 push ups. I can't remember. The original concept was with a partner. So I know it was 100 or 200 reps. And while your partner was on a machine, you were trying to crush reps and then you'd switch. So I just know it was a lot of reps. I don't remember what the totals were. We'll try. Again, I lay the, the outline. You don't have to follow the rules. You can change things up, break it up, rewrite it. We're just trying to do it together. I do write the rules. Sometimes rules are just meant to be bent or broken. Oh, arms are just getting, getting heavy now. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna double it up.
That'll make me slop through a few more. That was already 10. I can do another 10 and I can do 20. It'll put me up to uh, 60 total, 50 total. Shit. Whew. Review the tape. Walk it over. Over. Ah. So I have to do that segment two more times. Ah. 20 side tucks coming up. Again, the towel rags are a lot quicker than this. One, two. Oh, shoulders are failing. The shoulders. The battle royale. Family members dropping. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, oh, get off. I can't even use my hands to get these off now. Oh, we got all day. We're only 20, 26 minutes in. Woo. Maybe it's a relaxing Sunday you're trying this. Uh, 20. Fifteen. Shoulders falling off. Oh, the pump. The burn. Oh, man. Oh, this workout's just Gavin talking to himself. Okay. Gonna try 20 conditioning push ups again. Here we go. One, and two. This plank walkover could even just be a crack on the ground, a tile mark, a chalk line. I don't need my knees smashing into the hard wood. Six more. Oh, don't touch my head. My sweaty head's never been the same since I cut my hair off. Walk it over. Last two. Come on. One, two. Oh, that puts me at 80. Twenty more of these coming up her side. It's a lot. Special workouts call for crazy things. But if you can't meet that capacity, you're done. Your body's failing. Make it easier or move on. No point hurting yourself. I love kicking your ass, but I'm not out to hurt anybody. Okay. Audio. Two. 
need to push after this little section to squats and rowing switch inside remember link for TRX in the knockoff version in the in the description of the video all links can be found there oh Oh, 10 more. The lights are red. Blood's flowing, metaphorically or maybe physically out of my nose. Eight, nine. Oh, Ooh, I apologize. I'm grinding here. It's a big boy doing some push ups, some long ass skinny arms here. But fitness is your time. You enjoy it. You blocked it off for yourself. Baby's crying in the crib next to you in the garage. Who knows? That's the dream. Oh, I was just doing some filming work with a power lifter, Chris Fudge from Canada. He's got a five and seven year old boy. He said he's going to start getting into lifting. So. You start young with the fundamentals and it becomes a family thing. Okay, 20s. Not be able to feel my arms after this. Halfway. Where's my mat? Come back. Make yourself comfortable. You can hit the floor, you can warm out, but get the tall plank back in. Tall plank. Going over seventeen, eighteen, uh, over nineteen and twenty. Uh, oh. oh, twenty side crunch per side left. Oh. Oh, not having fun. Woo! There's the woo! A Ric Flair. Where's my Ric Flair? Come on. 20 going in. Mike's getting crushed. strong or stop and take a break final 20 and we're out of this section though we'll do a water break ten it's just the shoulders shoulders are gone Go 
tumbling. Water break breather, I'm gonna pause the clock. Oh, at 33.50. Oh, I can't even hold the remote up. Oh. Thirty-three fifty. We're leaving where we left off. Conditioning again, and then it's a hundred jump squat, body weight or weighted, or just squats, whatever you got to do. And a hundred row per arm. That could be TRX row, dumbbell row, barbell row, whatever. I'm gonna hit the rower again, single leg right now for the three minutes. I have the rower. I invested in my fitness, so I'm gonna use the machine. I can't skip in here because I smashed the the uh, the squat rack. Whoops, one leg. Pick an even time, 34.30 I'm gonna start. And we go to 37.30. And here we go. I'm in single leg. You are doing a single limb machine. Single foot skipping, fake. Single foot skipping. Single foot sprawls, we already saw. Or running high knees on the spot. And ignore how this feels and start. Oh, no, don't start puking in your mouth. Start focusing on your 100 jump squats. How they're going to feel, how they're going to look. Just hovering my other leg by the side here. More seconds before halfway. A one foot ski erg is awesome. Hovering on the one leg. Gets you nice quarter squats. Ugh. The window is fogging up. That's a good sign. 10 seconds. Good, I'm switching foot. Locked in, keep it going. Forty seconds to go. Twenty seconds. <sighs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, that's it, conditioning done, take a breather, recover your heart rate, I'm thinking 10 sets of 10 here might be the logical way to go about this, just so I can keep my pace up, if you red line on one thing, it's game over and you're slowing down. So remember, it was from the Christmas, Christmas special, 12 exercises of fitness, which I think is passed by now. Yes, according to my scheduling, long past. But I said you gotta waste time to make time. So you gotta sit and recover to go quicker and more efficient at your moves. I'm going for the barbell, 45 pounds, and the option of weighted Jump squat you got, not for height, just to clear the ground. 
and my 40 pound dumbbell, I'll just brace off the body and go for that row and every modification I can think of. In my brain fog now, I'll put up on the side videos. So let's go, last component, and we're out of this workout. Oh yeah, that's nice. Gotta hold that bar to you. Don't let your weights shake around. Oh, that's a good stretch. Bodyweight jump squats, fully allowed. That's gonna hurt as well. Spin to the side. Use those big back muscles. Don't just pull with the forearm and bicep. Okay, 10% there. That shot the heart rate up a little bit. Let's keep it going. Ooh. Can rest when it's over. Try to get full depth. I don't know if anyone's seen my old gym tour video of the ice bath, deep freezer tank full of ice water filled up. That is feeling nice right about now. It's just outside through the wall there. Okay. 10 by 10, some good old fashioned German volume training. done. Keep the momentum. Uh, no look rack. Maybe I'll switch my arm order. If you have another row up variation, you can do the same row, same arm, same time. You don't have to break it up left and right. That takes a little more time. Brace on a bench. Do a single arm row off a bench. Oh. Who is that? Is that only 30s? Oh, I think so. This is 40s. Damn it. It's got a slow crawl. Those calories are ticking. Strong back. Uh, 
Uh, ow! That was my head. That's how my nose felt earlier. A little lightheaded. Tunnel vision. Oh. Oh. Okay. Heading to 50 here. Good, and then whenever you get halfway on something, you know you're only halfway there. It's exactly what you have to do to get to complete. So not bad, wrap your head around it. towel at where my water at I'm gonna calm my heart rate down take a seat oh. share a story with me comment in the comments how you're feeling oh Woo, okay, that's it. Just what I did over again. We're at 45 minutes. I should be able to reel this in now. Battery is dying. Mics look good. Here we go. Heading to 60. Nice stable stance. Knees are tracking perfectly over the toes. No knee wobble, no instability. Oh, lightheaded. Oh. I think Kara is getting Thai food for us tonight. Nice little treat. straight back any jump squat variation you want Make every rep look the same all the way through. Hmm. Two minutes around. Three sets to go. Ah, twenty squat jumps left. Slow the breathing down. Hmm. 
We're all suffering together here. I was gonna do 50 pound dumbbell today. Good thing I didn't. 40 is enough. Oh. Oh. Two sets to go. Oh. Two sets to freedom. You start getting loopy talking to yourself. One more set, one more set, 50 minutes, come on. I had no idea how long this would take, but I was hoping for under an hour. Plus warm up, we're over an hour, the warm up circuits. Some people eat that up, some people love it. You're just clock junkies. One hour equals a thousand calories. Somehow it's a scientific equation. <sighs> ah, make sure it's the legs doing the squat, not your upper body. Done. The jump squats. no fury like fitness scorn Ooh. workout complete special workout 40 I am if you're still going you want mental or physical closure just keep it going I'm gonna end the video you can rewind to keep a clock reference oh boy that was a good one back to regular schedule programming for 41 to 44 Oh, and we're closing in on workout 50, which is 120th, is it? 120th of a thousand. So you're chipping away at the life journey of fitness. I'm done. You know the saying. Thank you for being here. Keep crushing the workouts. Pull friends and challenge family members. Do it with the gang. Get a little fitness club going. I have my beautiful garage gym. This could be your living room with two dumbbells. Ignore the scenery, focus on the prize. I'm